How does the farmer multiply his cows on a calculator? <laughs> That's from my son, that one. Big shout out, Dan. <laughs> Yo, 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 people, welcome back to another hardware review, and this time we're looking at the Aegis 2-in-1 Swan Kit from Geek Vape. Now, not only do you get a top-filling Swan Kit, you also get a single 18650 battery mod. Now, we have done something like that with the top side. Uh, the difference is with this is the actual filling me mechanism at the top. Also, the way you change out to, to make it into a normal 18650 mod. And also, this one's a 21700. This also comes with the Tengu. I keep wanting to say Pengu for some reason, but no, the Tengu RDA. And we're going to do that separately. I'm going to review that tomorrow, and then I will put it down in the descriptions and vice versa for the mod. So yeah, we're just going to concentrate on the mod today. Right, when it comes, it comes in two boxes. You get your normal mod in there. That's what we're going to call it, the normal mod. And then we'll call the other bit the Swank section with your extra Swank bottle. So you get two actual packets. So if you do look on screen now, you will be able to see everything you do get in both packages. All the good stuff, your coils, um, the extra drip tips, 510 adapter, etc, etc. Right, let's have a little look around this beauty. It is IP67 waterproof and dust resistant. It's got high shock resistance and it's powered by the advanced AS100 chipset and it is 100 watts. Right then. We're going to keep it in swank mode, and I'm going to call it swank mode, and we're going to go top to bottom like we normally do. It is a spring-loaded 510. There is no hole in the 510. It actually, your juice actually comes round the sides. You will see there is a little um, O-ring round the side of that. That's to make sure that when the, the RDA is screwed down that you're getting a, a connection so there's no leakage anywhere on there as well. Um, it's roughly, the, the RDA itself is a 24mm, but you would be able to roughly fit about a 26mm uh, atty on there. Now to fill this, it is very simple. Obviously on the top side, you have to sort of screw it with this one. You just push it aside and there you go. That's where your filling port is. Now if you look, there's uh, two little bungs either side. You need to lift them up and there's little screws in there. You undo them to actually get into your swank bottle, but I'll show you that one later on. Let's have a little look at this swank bottle. It is a 10mm swank bottle. Just say Aegis on there. The swank bottle is like, uh, how I say, uh, the, you know, the bears with the porridge. This one's just right. It's not over squidgy and it's not over hard. It's just right. If you have a little look on the side as well, that is where the two sets of screws are. What you do is undo that and that's how you put the mod section on there. If you have a little look as well, with it being dustproof and waterproof, the actual um, charging port is under a little plastic bung. You pull that up. There's your charge port. You can charge your batteries on there, um, but I would recommend that you charge them in an external charger. And this is also for your firmware. Just push it down and make sure it's firmly in and you are ready to go. Let's have a little look at the bottom. Again, with it being dustproof and, and waterproof, you, this one's a screw. You pull the little latch up, unscrew it, um, positive first, put it back in, screw it on, and you are ready to go. You've got all your kite marks and don't vape in the bin and all that good stuff on there. So let's have a little look at it in mod mode. It does look like the Aegis Solo. And I tell you what, it does not feel lovely in your hand. It's just got the right weight and it's really ergonomical fit in your hand. Right, let's break this actual swank section down. Like I said, you take out the two screws either side and it just pulls apart. Now, when on the top side, you had sort of like a little valve that you used to have to unscrew to be able to turn it into mod mode. You haven't got this at all. You've actually got like a little nipple. How many times can you say nipple in a review and I've just got nipple in it? Um, you've got like a little nipple that's got an O-ring around it. So when you're putting on the mod section, that's got a little O-ring as well and it just fits in and that makes sure there's no spillage out of it. Or when you're putting it in um, swank mode, it, it fits in and it's nice tight connection. Right then, let's have a look at this swank uh, section. Again, it's the top fill and it's absolutely fantastic, this top fill. You just push it across and that's where your filling port is. Um, very, very simple. Now, I did show you them two little dots either side. That's where the screws are. Absolute nightmare to get them out. You have to get a pet set of tweezers, as you can see, and pull them out. Absolute nightmare. Not very good. My hand was still broken trying to get them out. If you're not really bothered about the dustproof and the waterproof sort of thing, I would just leave them out. I really would. <laughs> 
So then you've got your Allen key, you take out the screws that are there, they are really long screws, and you pull the top off. As you can see, it comes off and that's where your tube is that goes into your bottle. It is a 10mm bottle, like I've told you. As you can see, the bottle is connected through the top, it's got sort of like a rim. If, if I was you, I would not pull the bottle off. I would just leave it as it is. I would go and wash it, um, dry it all up, uh, I don't think you'll have any problems at all, just... I wouldn't take the bottle out. If you have to, it is a nightmare to get it back in. I'll just show you. There's like these little lips that are all the way around them. And you've got to like stick it up it. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. Stick it in there and try and get that lip onto that. It took me ages. I nearly threw it. It just really did me head in. So what I'd basically do is just keep it, take the top off, go and rinse it, wash it all out, dry it off, and then you'll have no problems. Fit the top back on. Just make sure you hold it. Put one screw in and then the screw in again on that side and just tighten them bolt together because the other screw just holds it in place it doesn't move make sure you've got it fitted in properly and then you are ready to go now when you are either putting on the mod section or the actual swank section back onto the mod make sure that you're pushing it right up because the screws don't marry up to the holes if you don't push it in see so you, you've got a chance then you're going to cross thread your screws so make sure you push it right in and hold it and get them screws in there it can be a little bit fiddly uh, especially when it comes back to the swank section bit of it. That's not too bad, but the, the swank section of it um, can be a little bit hard. Right, let's go to the menu section. It's, you've got your fire button, lovely nice to click fire button. Below that, you've got your plus and your minus. It is five clicks on, five clicks off. It tells you which mode you're in, so you've got your power. Then you've got what wattage or what um, Fahrenheit or Celsius you're in. It then tells you your battery indicator. It tells you which mode you're in wattage. Um, then you've got your um, ohms, you've got your amps, you've got your voltage, and you've got your puff counter. Very simple to get into the menu, it's three clicks. This is the standard uh, Aegis menu. Um, now to move across, you've then got your temperature control, which is your NI, you've got your stainless steel, you've got your titanium, you've then got your temperature control, your VPC, you've then got your bypass mode, and then you're back to power. Now to move down the power, um, if you click it once, it makes you can move it across to the side. Uh, this is obviously a coil, what ohms you're at. You can lock it off. You just move left or right to lock it, so you can lock your ohms. Um, then you've got your amp, you've got your voltage, like I've said, and then if you go down to the puff counter, you can reset it. Go back up, give it a long press, and then you are ready to go. It does go between 5 watts and 100 watts. Um, if you want to actually lock the mod, what you do is you hold the two buttons together, like so, and a little lock comes upon there. Hold it again, and it unlocks it. Now, to change the brightness of the screen, you hold the fire button on one of the plus or down buttons, uh, sorry, the plus or minus buttons, and then you can change how bright your screen is. So, that's roughly the mod itself. So, the pros and cons, let's go to the cons first like we normally do, and the first one is the filling port. Not the actual mechanism, the mechanism I absolutely love, you just slide it across and there you fill it. But it's the actual filling port itself. If you've got a bottle roughly around about that size and you are trying to get it in there, it doesn't fit. It's hitting the RDA itself. So what you've got to do is then you've got to take the, the, the RDA top off and then fill it. The RDA that comes with it is a 24mm. I would imagine if you've got a 25 or a 26 on there, you're going to have to take the whole RDA. So yeah, the filling port... It's a, a bit of a con for me. The second con is trying to get to the swank bottle itself. Now, as I showed you um, in the up and close sort of bit, if I slide this across, I've still got a broken hand. Um, where the two little bungs are, I'll talk about the bungs, to get to the screws, you can't actually take the top off of it to get to the actual bottle itself while it's connected to the actual mod itself. So what you've got to then do is you've got to undo the screws on either side, take the section out like I showed you, try and get those little tiny bung things out. What a nightmare they are with little tweezers trying to get them out. If you're not really bothered about getting, if you get sand or water or anything like that in there, just leave them bungs out of it completely. Undo the screws, then pull the top off. Now getting the bottle out itself is no problem. Believe me, it is no problem. You just pop the bottle out, clean it, do whatever you're going to do, but... It's getting the bottle back in. As you can see, you've got like these little lips that are around the side there. And you've got to like try and push them in while getting that bit and making it all nice and flush. So that sits back on top so you can screw it. It is a nightmare. 
So what I'm going to tell you is leave the bottle actually inside the swamp section once you've took that off. Go and swill it out, dry it, and then put it back in. Don't try and take the actual bottle out itself. It's a nightmare to get back in. My second, con sorry, my third con to it is that it's not a 21700. It's an 18650. I would have liked to have seen it as a 21700. If we do put it uh, side by side to the, this is the top side light. Obviously, the top side light's a little bit bigger because it's a 21700. Let's get to some positives, and we've got to go to the filling mechanism. Obviously, we've just shown you the light on all um, of the top sides. You've got to unscrew it and take it off. This is just a slide across. Very, very simple. It's all right, my hand's still broke. It's hard to do. Um, very, very simple to fill. I know what you're thinking. You've just told me that it's not simple to fill because you can't get your bottle in. But once, obviously, you take the RDA top off and put it in, it is very simple to fill. It is a 10 mil bottle, so you're going to get loads and loads of juice in there. Fits really nice in your hand. And like all the age stuff, it is really well made. And you can probably see why there's so many screws and it's hard to get into the bottle because it's waterproof, it's shockproof, it's dustproof. Um, and, and that's why it's so well made and hard to, hard to get into. If you're into your, into your age sort of stuff then, and you've been looking for a swank, it is well worth it. Like I said, fits absolutely fantastic in your hand. I'm loving it as well in, in just in normal mod mode. Uh, the buttons feel really, really nice and clicky. It feels like a really well-made mod. The menu is nice and simple. You've got your bypass, your temperature curves, uh, your temperature control. Uh, you've got everything that you want on there. Yeah, and it is, is the typical Aegis menu as well. Now, the Tengu, is it Tengu? I have to think of Pengu first before I get to the actual name of the RDA. It's Tengu, I think. I think I've got it right. We'll be coming out tomorrow. But we'll have a little bit of a vape. What do we think? Really good. You've got a lovely board in there as well. All in all, I really do like it. Um, big shout out to New Vaping. Their website is there. Now, they're selling this, and thank you very much for sending it out for review. They're selling this for about $64.99, but they have given us a, a code for 20% off. I will just put that code down there as well. So, obviously, I can't put any links down in the description, but please get over there and check their website out. So, all in all, big thumbs up from Little Bro. I really do like this, and if I'm honest with you, I do like it a little bit more than the top side light. Don't forget to join me and have a look for the channel tomorrow where we're going to be doing the Tengu Pengu. <laughs> I've got to say it. The Pengu Tengu. No, the Tengu. Um, and then I will put that down in the description and this review in there as well. So if you've liked the review, make sure you like, subscribe and share. The subscribe button's just in the corner. Give it a little press and get me to that new magic number. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, people. Go and hit me up. And there's one last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.